we want to find the secant of 3.5 and the cotangent of 49.2 degrees with a calculator. So remember again, it's really important to remember if you're in radians or if you're in degrees. And so if you're in degrees, it has a little zero degree sign out behind it. So if I need to find the secant of 3.5, you'll notice that there is not a button for secant on your calculator. So you need to know the rule. Remember that the secant is 1 over the cosine of 3.5. So when you do that, now remember this one does not have a degree sign, so make sure that you're in radians. You'll, if you have a traditional scientific calculator, you'll put in the 3.5, you'll press cosine, and then you'll push the 1 over x button. And when you do that, you should get approximately negative 1.0679. So now what about the other one over here? Now I've got the cotangent of 49.2, and look, oh, there's that degree sign. So now make sure that your calculator is in the degrees mode so that you get the correct answer. Again, cotangent is not on the calculator, but we know that it is 1 over the tangent of 49.2 degrees. So you'd put in 49.2, push tangent, push 1 over x, and you should get approximately 0 0.8632.